I'm actually filming for this company today on Instagram. It's called Glow and it's a Christian based shop. So everything points to Jesus and I thought that was just so sweet. It is something I'm very excited about and they have really cute stuff. I'll link them down below for you guys, but that's my current morning situation is I've got a film for them real quick, but yeah, quick shout out. Very, very adorable, cute, cozy, Jesus inspired clothes. Gotta love it. Look at this back. So cool. I'm obsessed. I just finished. I need to go to Home Depot to get some trim paint because I'm actually going to paint this room. I started yesterday. I did a little bit of the baseboards, the trim around the doors. I still need to touch up on the ceiling trim. Vents, outlet covers we have. I picked up some light fixtures. So this room is going to be next in terms of like just change. It's not going to be too much of a drastic change just because this is already like a beigey color and I'm just doing more of a gray undertone. It's the same color we used in our bedroom. It's called Silent Smoke. Um, so I'm just going to do the trim paint real quick. It kind of takes a while. Honestly, it takes actually a very long time because it's very tedious but um yeah that's what we're doing today The trim is done. I ended up doing the window as well. This is a three part thing. So I always do the trim and then I'll do like around the trim of the actual color. That way when I do the roller, I can just go and roll. I don't have to worry about like fine details. So the next part would be like underneath the trim and stuff, but that takes all day. So I don't know if we're gonna do that in this vlog or not, but at least we've got the trim done. We've got something. So excited because we've got our new caraway order in. So these are the pans that we use. Literally, our whole kitchen is caraway at this point. This is what I've been dying for. So this one matches our other colors. This is the sage color. Um, they're non-stick ceramic. What I really love about caraway is that they're non-toxic. So you get a lot of gross chemicals typically in your pots and pans, which you're cooking on every single day. You're putting that on your food. It's just not ideal. So I feel safe and comfortable with caraway. Plus they're super cute. This is the mini pot. I love it. And then we've got the, the mini pan. Oh, she's so cute. I love it. A little topper. 
We love caraway. What I like the most about caraway, besides like the non-toxic part, is the organizers that they come with. They're functional, but they're also cute. They know that you're gonna be using these all the time. They're probably gonna be on somewhat of a display. If not, they're gonna be in your cabinets. And I don't like clutter. I like things orderly. And so Caraway's organization is like awesome. Everything that they come with pretty much has some sort of organizing compartment that it comes with. Like our Tupperware is organized. Those two things don't go in a statement together, Tupperware and organized, but they do. They're like hearty Tupperwares too. They're like the glass ones. They're really nice. And then the baking stuff is organized. Our pots and pans come with organizers. They are great. We love them and we've had them now for like over two years and they still look brand new and we cook on them literally like every single night. Like our kitchen is pretty much caraway at this point and they just hold up really well. They're very good quality stuff so just shout out to them because they're awesome. Um, they have a promo code that they sent to us. It's Renee. Um, if you go to caraway.com slash Renee, I'll link everything down below as well as my favorite stuff from them. By far it's probably the Tupperware but now that I have these little mini pots and pans it might be those because I'm going to gravitate towards those all the time. Um, so I will link them down below for you guys. We're gonna try to do a dupe for Taco Bell's Crunchwrap Supreme. We've been kind of naughty eating a lot of Taco Bell. I had never had Taco Bell um, when I was younger and I was always afraid of it because everyone always said like, you can get food poisoning and all the stuff. And I understand the hype of Taco Bell now because their food is so good. It's so addicting, it's so inexpensive, but it's so unhealthy. Like I can't even imagine what's in there. So I told Xander, I'm like, these Crunchwrap Supremes can be like remade at home, I think, and we can do it way healthier. So we're gonna attempt to do a an elevated Crunchwrap Supreme. So we've got like hard shells. I know that they put that inside of the soft shells and then they are the soft taco, whatever you call this, and then they'll press it. And it's essentially like a taco in a taco. Um, we've got some queso like toppings and stuff beans some sour cream let's do this i forgot we've also got some beef and then some taco seasoning Like that looks like a Crunchwrap Supreme. Here's. Mm -hmm. Yours actually sticks together. Yeah. Oh wow. Look at that. That's a Crunchwrap Supreme. Call this one the California Crunchwrap Supreme. Cause wow. it's got the avocados. Anything mm -hmm. that has avocado in it, like a California burrito. It's like a chorizo burrito with avocado. Nailed it. Wow. Pretty good, huh? Why is mine so much thicker than yours? Cause I made that one for myself. <laughs> Want to Sure. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. I've never told this story. Before you were pregnant with Bryson. No. Shortly after you were pregnant with Bryson. We were going home and you were craving your cold quesadilla. <laughs> and you said, Xander, we're going to go home and have my quesadilla. I'm like, alright, I'll heat it up for you and you can have your leftover quesadilla. And you said, no, I want my quesadilla. And I want it cold. <laughs> I yeah. do like Renee likes her leftovers cold. Yeah. Especially when I was pregnant. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I thought I was gonna eat five of these, but I'm like not even through one of them yet. <laughs> I, know, I know, this is really, um, this is a lot. These are huge. These are really this is huge. way bigger than what they <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have two. Yeah, no, I'm probably barely gonna get through this one. Mm. We're doing a mukbang right now. A mukbang? Yeah, you know that is. If I had more food in front of me, I think it'd be a mukbang. This is a lot of food. Oh my God. Mm. Mukbang. This is seriously like talk about on crack. Like this is so good. California Crunch Wrap Supreme Mukbang. Because talk. <laughs> You're such a dad. There's a lot of talk ta Taco Bell mukbangs out there, I'll bet. Oh I'm sure. Taco Bell though, like it's like skimpy. It's not full of like the meat and the like oh, Taco Bell is a great portion size. I have to defend Taco Bell and say like you can go and you can eat there and feel full and not utterly disgusting 
you can feel good actually with some of the things that we've had lately. Like we've they been have a Dorito, like burrito, and they they. Oh yeah. What's that called? Steak burrito right now has the Fritos in it. Oh my gosh! And then they they press it with the cheese on top. So not only is there cheese in the middle, but there's cheese on the top of the burrito, and it's just like a layer of like burnt cheese, and it's so good. Renee's obsessed with that right now. It is so good. We've eaten Taco Bell probably three or four times in the last month. So this is healthy. We've got the pasture-raised meat, organic tomatoes beans. and stuff. We got beans the black in beans in there. But the other day, you know what I was thinking? Which is really sad and like, not us. Hmm. We had Taco Bell twice. This is all within the span of like four days. Twice in one weekend or within four we days? We had Taco Bell twice, Chick-fil-A twice. We had Wendy's and then we had some other one. Was this during our renovations mm, yeah so we don't know how to cook and do home improvement at the same time and take care of and the baby care and of the baby. have two full-time jobs bryson is a full-time job mm -hmm. it's hard man so we're working on that we'll figure it out but right now i'm just gonna munch on this yumminess <laughs> good job daddy thanks for helping mama Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to go on a date. Z. I have yet to explore our city, so I'm very excited. So I definitely need help right now. I think I'm gonna curl my hair, which by the way, I'm debating chopping it off. I actually have had a lot of hair problems that I haven't really talked about too much because there's nothing really you can do besides just let it grow. But I had dyed my hair so blonde right before I got pregnant, it like broke a lot of the top layer of my hair off completely and like around my face because I would always do those like money pieces around my face. And I don't think it's like the fact that I dyed it blonde because I've done balayage and all that before, but I did it so many times so frequently that it just like really messed up my hair real bad. And then on top of that, I had a baby and there's like postpartum hair loss. So like all around my hair, it's like growing back and it's just like this really uneven situation going on, especially the top layer. I'm like, I tried to let it grow multiple times. I dyed it like darker. I've done it all. And I think I'm at that point where I'm just ready to like chop off all the dead and just live with short hair for a while and let it grow back happy and healthy. Don't mess it up again. This is where like, it's just so dead. There's like, little uneven pieces from all the breakage. Like there's no consistency to it at all. It just makes my hair look so bad. If I curl it though, it kind of camouflages it into the longer hair. I'm gonna do my makeup now. For primer, what I've been doing is just using lotion. This has like been my favorite lotion. Obviously I'm from Florida, I'm used to humidity, but this cold makes my skin so dry. A lot of moisturizers, especially thick moisturizers, make my skin feel really like greasy and just gross. And there's like a layer on it, but this makes my skin feel plump. Like it just makes me feel so soft, it's so thick. I'll link it down below for you guys, but I've been Vitamin Nectar by Fresh. Love that stuff. And then this is something new I've discovered. This is called the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It. It's like an eye balm, but it's a cooling eye balm. You put it underneath your eyes, it like literally cools your eyes at the same time as it moisturizes. And it feels like it like awakens your eyes. <laughs> this is the Lady Gaga Foundation. Haas Labs, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I like it, it's super lightweight. It's definitely a shade darker for me. I usually have tanner on, but I didn't get a chance to do that, so I always put it down my neck so it blends-ish. I've been looking for a new concealer, so let me know what you guys like. Something inexpensive. I've heard e.l.f. has really good ones. I've been back on my translucent powder fix just because I ran out of my pressed powder. So I kind of just like layer that wherever I get greasy and kind of let it just sit for a while. And I'm only going to be mentioning the products that I actually like because it's not worth mentioning these other ones. They're great, but they're not like anything exceptional so any bronzer will work but i just put this bronzer all over my face i feel like i still do my makeup like a millennial i know that there's like all these new trends and styles but i've like pretty much stuck to the same thing for like five plus years now so now i'm gonna brush off that excess powder i know a lot of people are doing like more use uh euphoria style 
makeup, which I really like, but I don't see myself like going out like that. Like I would do that for like a photo shoot or something, but there's no point in me doing that. So this is the Rare Beauty blush. I like it. It just like, you have to be so gentle with it because it's so pigmented. Oh, and this brush is like my favorite. It's the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. It's like the smallest brush, but it's so cute for like this kind of stuff because you can just blend. I think e.l.f. like really has good stuff. But look, I barely put any and I look like a clown. So I'll take like my foundation brush and I kind of just like blend in. And then I feel so bad saying this because this has been like my go-to for years and I love this stuff, but they discontinued it. And I went on Poshmark and I ordered like, there was only three of them left and I ordered all of them. I feel so bad, but it was so, this is like, such a good product oh i love it like look at the color like it's so pretty i feel like everyone's different with our brows so i'm gonna just do my thing and then i'll come back after i'm not an expert but this is what works for me so i'm gonna do eyeshadow again i kind of just do what i used to do years ago you do like a lighter tone all around your eyelid a shade darker in the crease a shade darker in either the line that you're gonna draw or like kind of just on the out outer upper part of your eye and then whatever you creased with you do a line from your pupil all the way to the side and like up to kind of give it like i don't even know what you call it, like a like a facelift and then like a shimmer right in the middle that's all i do i've had the same eyeshadow palette too for a while so i usually do latte cozy fireside and then flame if i'm wearing something dark and then i'll do like a white color like underneath my arch of my eyebrow. Now this looks intense, I understand. Sometimes put a little bit much on and I'll kind of just, again, use my foundation brush and clean it up a little bit. There we go. I always forget to put mascara on. My holy grail, I've used this for, I can't even tell you how long, the Better Than Sex mascara. Now something I do at the end of my eye is flick it out and up to kind of give me like a cat situation. And it makes me, again, kind of gives you the facelift. I'm gonna let that dry, but I think I'm gonna wear fake lashes today because we're going on a date. Like, who am I? Who am I? Favorite lip combo, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And I align. Same color, same brand of just the actual stick. And then I do the Fenty Gloss Balm in the color Sweet Mouth. And I literally just do a dot in the middle perfect lip combo i think we should attempt to put on lashes i haven't done this in so long that took two seconds but no i still got it by the way i use like they're called what are they called like flimsy or something but they're only the ending of the eyelash because it gives a like thicker pull up oh my god okay it doesn't look awful all right Let's go get dressed. So it's freezing outside. So I think I'm gonna just go with like basic black pants and then this shirt from Altered State. I haven't worn this yet, but it has an open back with like a bow. So let's try it. I'm gonna go with it. My jacket's in the car. Jewelry. I got this. This is like that Cartier dupe um, from Miranda Fire or Fry. Gold ones are from Amazon. Um, and then I just put on my rings, which are a mix of like Princess Polly, Anna Luisa. And my down i had so much fun i think 
Charlotte is really nice. We tried Uptown and it was nice. Like it's definitely more the vibe I would say in terms of the quality of restaurants and food, but there was nobody there. <laughs> South End is where we stayed when we first initially came here to look at homes. Really loved it. We ended up there again. South End is like where it's at in terms of Charlotte. We ended up going to a place, oh my God, what was it called? I forgot what it's called, but um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. If you're in the Charlotte area, I really recommend South End. Really cool. They have amazing shops, really good restaurants, food, lots of people. I literally look so beat. I'm so tired. This is what happens when you go out for the first time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so beat. I literally went out for like probably a total of three, four hours and not even. Like I am just so tired i literally would prefer to be sitting in bed with my kindle which i'm about to do i'm gonna take off my makeup take off these stupid eyelashes and uh hit the hay and read some iron flame that's just like where i'm at in my life like i don't know i'm definitely a city gal like it definitely gave me that spark of like oh this is nice like i love this like good food good quality but spending money on that kind of experience i don't know i think i've just like outgrown it i don't know it's just like it's different but it's fun to get all dressed up and you know have a day to ourselves and not have a distraction of a baby but i really miss bryson and like getting home and being with him and reading my kindle and doing home renovations is just definitely like that gives me more peace now i would say than like going out and stuff so just different but i did have fun um i enjoyed our little date night and i uh i actually met one of you guys so shout out to you for coming to say hi and i was looking for you when i was leaving and i couldn't find you you again i was gonna say bye but that made my whole night that like made my whole night so that was really cool yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will definitely see you guys very soon